Hello and welcome to a new series on this channel with me, Paragraph 8, and we are playing Modern Skyblock 2, a Minecraft mod pack, a Skyblock mod pack. But it is not your usual ex nihilo uh, mod pack where you sift to get your resources, but it uses a mod called Sky Resources and uh, that uses alchemy and technology to get new and more resources. Also, I turned on the expert mode, which means metals and some basic things are harder to obtain. For example, I think a bucket is uh, quite in the distant future. And uh, yes, uh, the, it will require us to really progress uh, through mods completely to obtain certain things. There are no quests though, uh, but we have two guides that will give us instructions on how to really uh, get a progression done in this game. So let me fire up a world and I'll meet you back once that is all uh, started and loaded in. And there we are in the game in our world and as you can see we start off on a 3 by 3 by 2 uh, bedrock block and um, we have now the choice between four types of islands. So uh, the guide uh, is our uh, we have here this book which is one help for us it basically tells us which um, tasks we have to do next in a short uh, paragraph each time but we also have when we press the G key this more detailed uh, guide which uh, yeah helps us progress through the pack much uh, more detailed. So we are in stage one, so I'll choose category one here. And we have uh, the choice between four types of islands we can create. We can create a sand island where we start off with some red sand and cactus. Um, we have the snow island where we start off with a pumpkin and snow, of course. And we have a wood island where we have a 3x3 three three of dark oak wood with the center uh, of a water source where we can fish for resources like oak saplings and uh, dirt. And we have our standard garden of glass island where we have our tree and some dirt or grass and yeah. So that is the usual way to start a sky block and that is not what I want. I also don't want to use the snow island because it gets cold outside where I live. So um, yeah, uh, I already have enough of cold. <laughs> and um, the sand island is uh, a viable option as is the wood island. And the wood island is um, someone else using Torgal, I think is his name, a YouTuber I'm watching currently, uh, his modern Skyblock 2 series. It's very enjoyable. Go check him out. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to do what he is doing, so I am choosing the Sand Island. Uh, to create this island, we just have to put into the chat the command island create sand. And now we are falling onto this sand island and ouch, as you can see, we have down below one layer of sandstone, then one layer of red sand and we have a three tall cactus and that's it. Oh boy. Now how do we get on in this now? Getting started. To start off, you need to create or join an island. Okay, that is what we have done. Uh, all islands have their pros and cons, yes. And um, once you've joined or created an island, press G to open the Sky Resources 2 guide. 
Okay, so let's press G. And we have chosen the Sand Island. What does this say? Uh, and that might be a little bit further on. So first some warnings, keep at least one cactus and don't use the red sand unless it is required for a recipe mentioned. Your first goal is to get some cactus needle, which we get by shift right clicking on a cactus block, but you will take damage. Okay, shift right click on the cactus to get some. Mm -hmm. And you can get cactus via different different ways. And um, next you'll want some cactus fruit as they help greatly for regenerating health. So cactus fruit is a cactus with a cutting knife. There's also a, a cactus cutting knife and you get two cactus out of this. In order to get some new items on this island, you'll need to get a red sandstone infusion stone. This is used for a process called life infusion, which is this chapter here. Using life infusion, your first step is to increase your cactus production. Once you get a decent amount, make a cactus fruit on a needle in order to make your first acacia sapling. After that, make your first core dirt. You are now done in stage 1, continue on to stage 2. Okay, so it seems I have to hurt myself a few times. So let's shift right click this cactus. Let's take 8. Okay, and now we are hurt pretty bad, but um, that shouldn't be too bad bad and I think that is a cutting knife yes so now what we can do oh man this is ah uh, please 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 ah I only got one dang it dang it dang it dang it uh, so I'll have to wait a bit I think until this grows again um, but now we can make cactus fruit like this and we can eat that and uh, yeah I think <laughs> I'll have to do the waiting game now a bit and I'll bring it back once there is something more and more exciting stuff to see and there we are again I AFK'd a while to see if this cactus might grow but it doesn't so I went and created this red sandstone infusion stone. I had to grab some of the red sand here. One dropped into the void, sadly. But then you get this red sandstone infusion stone. And uh, with that you can do life infusion. And uh, with life infusion you can get cactus. So um, where do we have to go? Uh, wait. I think here, yes, there we have it. Dang it, I want to go back. Yes, use this. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, and you see, we have here many different uh, things we can do with this life infusion stone. Um, we can get coarse dirt, we can get acacia saplings, but we need more cactus fruit really before we can do that. So, uh, we have to get uh, that thing here going. We right click with the infusion stone and six cactus needles on a cactus and we get three more cactus if I see this correctly. But we will also lose four hearts. So let's read a bit about it. Um, once you have one, check the recipe for the item you need in the JEI that we did. The item above the shield is the one that goes in the offhand. The hearts is the amount of health needed to do the infusion. The infusion stone is held in your main hand. The block is the block you click on with the infusion stone. So um, let's check that again. We have here, uh, this, the cactus needles go in the offhand because they are above the shield. 
we right click with the life stone infusion stone onto a cactus get removed four hearts and then we should get three ah dang it offhand dude put them in offhand yes thanks <gasps> Oh, please don't oh man and it consumes one okay uh, so I should maybe put one of these uh, sand in the middle because um, yeah otherwise I might lose the cactus so let's do that then we can eat a bit and I have to right click again and let's put uh, this again in the offhand right click and there we have it and that is something i have to do a couple of times now before i can continue and craft our first sapling so um yeah let me do this for a while and then i'll be right back we have now a few of these cactus fruits and i want to make me a a cactus fruit on a stick or on a needle so let's use this and um, I don't know exactly yes we just plant this on here and then we have acacia saplings and these can be crafted with this life infusion as well we need 10 cactus needles and uh, life infusion and right click on this one okay so i need to grab five more so one two three four five that should be ten that is correct and uh, then we uh, eat a little bit to heal up grab these in the offhand and right click on here and we have our first sapling but we have nothing that we could grow that on so we need coarse dirt and that is also with life infusion just right click with four cactus fruit in your hand in your offhand on red sand and uh, that gives you a coarse dirt where you can grow your tree on very nice um so let's do that uh yeah that should there shouldn't be anything going wrong at all <laughs> i think i may just have killed myself because um yeah i need a little bit of health now dang it should have healed up should have really have healed up uh, but anyway let's no mm. i got pricked to death oh man <laughs> and we have here this gravestone luckily so paragraph eight died on the 8th of October 2017 around 10 before 6 p.m. How, how can I oh I just right click the tomb okay nice but now we have full health again and we have this humanoid flesh not yet eaten what does it taste like <laughs> and we also got an achievement or an advancement your first grave mm -hmm. nice okay uh, i want to grab uh, this uh, dang it anyways let's get on to uh, growing this tree now and there it is our first tree and we of course want to get a sapling back and um, yeah I have to try to catch it before it is falling down 
So, please, I would be so appreciative of this dropping a sapling. Yes, we have one sapling back. That is very good. And then let's just punch the wood. Dang it, two saplings gone. Well, let's just grab this here. And then I can finally, finally increase this island. But let's make first this and then we can make a crafting uh, thing on a stick. Crafting table on a stick. Yes, just like, oh, we need a sign. Oh, dang it, I didn't knew that. I thought it's just a stick. And here it is, actually. Um, so, let's make a stick. Let's put that there and this here. And we have our very own crafting table on a stick. And we can now make a lot of wood. And we can make some slabs. Let's make 18 for now and increase finally this small island. Well, I just wanted to craft a chest, so I thought, hey, that's usually eight wood in a, a crafting grid. But no, you need a dirt chest, so any kind of dirt really and that in the center gives you then a wooden chest and wow oh wow that is quite something but well i guess i just have to keep on growing trees for now for a bit and um yeah uh, continue this a bit and bring you back once i have done a bit more. Um. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I just made an achievement and it is called Cannibal! Eat some humanoid flesh. Yes, I have eaten my own flesh that I gathered from my tombstone. <laughs> So let's check this achievement. We have here Minecraft, Stone Age, Evil Craft. Where is it? Where? Where is it? Come on, show yourself. Oh man. Um, and uh, yeah, it gave me a, a, a withering effect and I died. Well, that is life. That at least gave us enough. Uh, health so I can do the life infusion again to get some more cactus and I also noticed I apparently have less hearts. I have one two three four five six seven eight hearts Shouldn't I have ten? Did I lose hearts while getting or, or while dying or What is happening? That is a bit strange. Uh, you can see this here has, uh, yeah, got a little bit larger. And I think um, we have now here our first stage done. And let's have a look what would be the next stage combustion. One of the first things to, you need to do once you have a tree or depending on your island even before that is building a mob farm. A mob dropper is probably the best design but if you don't have enough materials for one you can just build a small closed off area. Once you've killed a creeper and obtained gunpowder you are able to craft a wooden heat component. You can use that to make a dirt furnace or wooden combustion heater. The combustion heater can't be placed by itself and can only be placed in a casing. To set up a combustion chamber you can look in the sky resources guide. At this point of time you will probably want to put a trapdoor at the top and throw items in the chamber through it. Note that that will only work with a wooden one. Once you have your combustion chamber ready to go you are able to create dirt from plant matter and blaze powder from gunpowder. Cool! So um, 
next episode, I think. Oh, the tree dress group. Uh, next episode, we will get on that. We will uh, make our mob farm at some in some area. Oh, we are here in the extreme hills. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, then uh, we get on to the combustion. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this with me, paragraph 8, and Steve on my head. What are you doing there, Steve? Poking your feet through my head. Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, I wish you a super great time, and say bye-bye.